Hello everyone, myself Bharadwas. In this video, I will discuss about stopwatch in PLC. Open your PLC software. On the left side, scroll down and under timer category, select stopwatch and place here and enter the comment stopwatch. Okay. See, in mobile phones, we have the stopwatch function, right? Similarly, we can use the same function in our PLC programming also. If you see, there are three inputs and one output. These three are digital inputs and one output is analog. If you go to the block properties, you can see there is an option time base. How you want to calculate in hours, in minutes, seconds, or 10 milliseconds? I am choosing seconds. You can choose any time base as per your requirement. Click OK. And now I will take digital inputs. And one analog output. Connect. and give the comments enable and second one is clap and third one is reset Okay, and start the simulation. Go to tools and simulation. If you see, there are three parameters. One is, first one is current time, and second one is lap time, and third one is out time. Okay, whenever the enable bit is on, then immediately the counting will start. Okay. I will select this enable bit. See, we selected seconds, so it is counting in seconds. Okay. If the enable bit is off, the counting is paused. Again, enable bit is on, counting will start and continue. See, suppose if the lab bit is on, then what it will do whenever this input changes from 0 to 1 okay at that time the current time will be saved and it will send it to the output right now what is happening the current time which is count counting the value counting value it is directly sending to the output okay so whenever the lap is on at that time, what will happen? Let's see at 55, I'll turn it on. Okay. The 55 value is saved in the lap time. And then this lap time value will be sent to the output. See, it is 55. But the counting will be continuing. See, counting is not stopped. If the enable bit is off, then counting will be paused. Again, the enable bit is on, counting is continuing. Okay. If the lab bit is off, then it will be zero and the current time will be sent to the output. See, lap is off. Okay, lap, lap is uh, saving the last value, but the current time is sending to the output. Okay, again, if the lap is on, the value will be updated and it will send to the output. The continue, the counting will be continuing. If the reset input is on, then all will be zero and the reset is having the high priority. 
it will not consider either enable is on or lap is on okay so this is how you can use this stopwatch in plc you can also change the time base to milliseconds apply or okay okay this is the milliseconds time base the time is updating in milliseconds you can also select minutes or hours based on your requirement if you have any experience with the stopwatch kind function in your industries share with us what is the purpose or process control application with us through the comment section thank you i will meet you in the next session